हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम मिस्टर जीवी पुजारी वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन शरो इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग आई एम हैविंग माय चैनल क्रिएटिव ऑन यूट्यूब ऑन दिस चैनल आई एम अपलोडिंग कंटेंट रिलेटेड विद टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग एंड कंटेंट नॉन टेक्निकल लाइक जनरल नॉलेज पर्पज सो सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल so that you will not be miss any kind of new upcoming notification about my videos so friends today we are going to see about learn about the software autocad so autocad is a basically drafting software and uh, why the software is important is very much important as a student you are having subject like autocad for practical purpose or you are having a machine drawing subject which you require to draw prepare a drawing on autocad so this is only you are preparing for some kind of marks so what is the use of this for your future purpose what is the use of this for your career purpose that is important or what is the use of this in industry is important thing so as a when engineer what want to get it done some components or some products from worker how we are he is getting done he is preparing some drawings so whatever the ideas whatever the communication he want with the worker he is doing with the help of this drawing so what he is doing he is preparing the drawing on or paper and that he is going to draw on autocad software so why we are using autocad software then basically because as like whatever you are drawing on a, your paper some kind of drawing in your practicals like the same all the tools are available on the autocad when you are going to practical for your autocad how many things you are going to bring there you are bringing some kind you required board you required pencil you required a sharpener you required eraser you required ruler you required protector so so many kind of instruments you required to draw a drawing but in autocad all the things are included inside so without taking any kind of instrument just using this software you can be convert your any kind of ideas into reality or in picture form so here the line is present here the circle is present here the pentagon is present here the rectangle is present whatever eraser you want to erase some kind of thing eraser is present if you want to make a duplicate of the drawing you are having the copy option if you want to move object from one place to another place here the move option is present so like this if you want to make enlarge your drawing here one more uh, scale option is present if you want to do some kind of etching if you want to do some two parts differently so you want to do etching so here etching pattern is also present so like this everything is present inside the software so that's why we are using software so as a engineer you can easily convert your ideas your draw on the software so if you give such kind of drawing to worker then worker is very easy to understand what kind of thing you want to prepare what kind of thing you want to manufacture he can understand very easily so that's why the drawing is very much important and the software will use it will reduce your efforts and the software will keep your drawing as it is so whenever at the next time when you want to do some kind of changes into your drawing if you are not having such kind of soft copy if you are having a hard copy what you require to do again you require to bring a new sheet 
and on that new sheet you require to draw again newly so instead of this what we are able to do just open your previous sheet and you can make a changes into your that sheet that is the very good thing as an engineer okay so now we are going to see about your software orientation today is our uh, lecture is based on the orientation of our autocad software so this is screen of your autocad software so first of all let me show you how to open the software so before opening the software you require to install autocad software on your computer you require to install the software on your laptop so you will find this autocad software on your desktop so this is the desktop on this desktop you will find this icon of the software this is one way to open the software another way just go to start and here you can type the name of your software which you want to open now i want to open the autocad so i will just initial names of auto just i will click here now you will see here the autocad software just double click on here or you can double click here when you double click on this icon you will open the software now already have opened the software here so here you will see the screen of our autocad software so now we are going to see one by one what kind of things are shown here on this autocad inside autocad software so on my left side what is the number of commands you are observing here these commands we can call it is a draw command okay let me show you okay. so this is our autocad draw command so see this the name is given here draw command so number of things whatever shown here line this is a polygon rectangle this arc circle all these things we are using for a drawing purpose now i'll show you one more thing here okay on our right side here the shown is a modify command okay so this is eraser the next one is copy option the next one is a mirror option next one is a offset option array then move rotate scale stretch trim extend break at point break join chamfer fillet explode all these commands are included into your modify command okay so whatever we have drawn by this draw commands that we want to modify sometimes we want to erase sometimes we want to copy this command that time we are going to use this one sometimes we want to mirror this one we are going to this one sometimes you want to do offset that we are going to use by this command so draw command and modify command these commands are very much useful as per this autocad software so as a uh, for this all the commands everyone is having its shortcut okay so what kind of shortcut is given name that i will tell you in our upcoming lectures so just keep in your mind now everyone is having these shortcuts so that shortcut name if you type on this below this is a command line so whatever the if you know the shortcut names of this draw command modify commands and if you type here then you will be easily able to trace that command and able to draw that command very easily okay so that's why this command line is also important on this command line we are going to put the names here of these commands and then these are very easy to locate that commands and use their commands
Okay. Now, so whatever the upside you are showing is all these are also useful for as per our drawing first one is a file so i am going to tell you whenever you are going to start a new drawing just click on new option so here you will find this acad.dwd means autocad.dwd is a drawing template and that we require to select so whenever we are starting that time it is very important to select a template of drawing now i am going to open this one okay now autocad template we have opened and here you can be able to draw any kind of thing which you want to draw now before starting anything always keep practice that just give the name any kind of name to your drawing so i am giving here option file and option here click save so i am going on a desktop and on desktop we are going to give any kind of name to our file so now i am going to give name a y i have given the name a y to my file okay so you require to select the location first of all in which area you want to save your drawing this drawing where you want to save so just i wanted to save on desktop that's why i have selected the option desktop if suppose you want to draw save your drawing anywhere in your my computer you can select and you can select the location where in a d drive or maybe somewhere you are having some kind of folders you have prepared here okay so like this you also able to so like this you can also able to make here new names okay so i want to save my drawing on a desktop so i will just select a desktop just i have given the name ay and then the option is save next option name is ay option save now just i am going to just check whether file is created or not just check your ay so now ay name of file is created on your desktop so this is your ay file okay now i will show you one more thing just i am going to create one simple drawing here okay so whatever drawing you have drawn if you want to do a multiple copy of same drawing just go file save as option on a desktop i want same file with new name so i will enter your name au okay the name of drawing is now au on desktop option i have saved okay so like this just check whether two files are present or not just check here ay file is also present and au file is also present so now we are working in a au so ay is not here drawn whatever we have saved with the name new name au so like this we can save this drawing with another name also okay so like this you can create also multiple copies of your drawing that is the way you can use this software now whatever drawing you are drawing just you require to make habit of use a save button now in this file having a option save so just if i have drawn here 
one more drawing or one more circle here i have to create a bit that always require to here use option save so that whatever drawing i have drawn that going is going to save so why it is important because sometimes some electricity failure may happen suppose some electrical electricity failure happen what will happen because of this if you are not saved your drawing till whatever you are drawn the drawing and further before you have saved option that is not going to save so because of this what we are going to do we are using this option saved okay so that save option will save your drawing if suppose some failure takes place like uh, electricity gone then and suppose when electricity come and when you will open the drawing that time it is very easy to trace your drawing okay so that's why just we required to keep always use this option save okay just let me do one more change here okay just i have drawn one more rectangle here now i am going to show you one more thing how to plot the drawing so here having option plot plot means if you want to take a print out of your drawing this option will help you now an above level name here you can be able to select the printer which you want to take a print out okay so now my laptop have not attached to any printer that's why no any kind of name is showing here like canon lbp or canon 200 like this whatever the names you are having of your printer that will be visible here so as for that you require to select from this location okay the next one here the paper size we require to select the paper size from this side so go here we are having so many paper size here a4 a3 a2 a1 a0 so as per our drawing if our drawing is small then we are going to select the small paper size so just i am going to tell you the sizes of paper see here so first is the a4 size the size of paper is a 210 into 297 then next one size is a3 a3 size is 297 into 420 is our size of paper then next one is a a2 the size of a2 is a 420 into 594 it is the size of our a2 size and then next one is a a1 then next a1 paper size is a 594 into 841 the next one is a a0 and a0 size is having 841 into 1189 so like this we are having the variation of paper size like a4 to a0 so when to use when we are having very small drawing only single drawing we can prefer to use this a4 if you are having two three number of components then we can use this a3 if you are having very big drawing like architecture if you are a civil engineer or uh, if you are prepare your building drawing then you required some kind of big drawings so like this you can use this a2 or sometimes in industry we require to prepare big assembly drawing so such kind of big assembly drawing there is having so many number of components there sub assemblies and all together they require to show on a paper when we are want to show this all together on a paper that time It is very difficult to show on a very small paper like A4 or A3. So that time A2 or A0 type of size, A0 type of size paper, we require to select. Okay, and on that paper, it is very easy to mount, easy to locate all the sizes of drawing. Now I am going to select here A4. Okay, then display option, we require to select window. now select the option from this point to this point okay center the plot and here 
just i will select your pdf file so that it is easy to show you now i'm going to show you some kind of preview so when you are going to take a print out such kind of print out you will see okay now i'm going to cancel this i don't want to take print out that's why okay so like this you can be able to take a print out of your drawing so now i am going to stop here this lecture whatever the things remaining in this lecture i am going to continue with my next video so i am very thankful to everyone for listening my this lecture very carefully thank you thank you very much